I know my first comic book was given to me by my dentist um, yes. for having a great checkup. I later had a lot of cavities. He took the comic book back. That would have been awesome. <laughs> He's like, no, no comic for you. I remember having an argument with my mother, except I think I was just yelling at her. Um, That's not when nice. I was, young, I was not nice as a child. Um, I was sweet and then turned into an asshole when I was as a teenager. Um, I remember ha yelling at her, I don't care if I have to sleep on the streets and eat cheese whiz. <laughs> Why cheese with it? I'm gonna draw for a living or something. It was something like I'm gonna make art for a living. So I knew that was something I wanted to do. Um, and making comics was something I was really interested in when I was like 14, 15, 16. No, but I mean, you know, like a lot of the blogs I like and Tumblr and all these different, you know, uh, Instagram, whatever it, venues that you can check out are. You're seeing so much different stuff, and a lot of times I'll see a style where I'm like, God, my God, that's amazing, you know. And I'd like to say something. You know, try that aesthetic out. Like, you know, could I do something like that? Or, oh, I like that. You know, thing that somebody posted from this 1960s cartoon. But I kind of, what if it was, you know, a little more Art Deco, or maybe it was more of this. And that's just it. I mean, a lot of these drawings have led to, you know, stories that I'm developing now and stuff like that, where it's kind of you're trying out new aesthetics that maybe you wouldn't try out otherwise.